Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, I decided to feature a dessert that's easy, yet fantastic to make on those hot summer nights. A death by chocolate trifle is simple to bring to a backyard cookout or just to have a sweet treat after dinner. Desserts and sweets are one of my favorite things to make and eat, so let's get started. Okay, so a trifle, it really consists of three layers. You have your cake layer, and then you have your pudding layer as well as uh, the whipped cream layer. So what I did in advance was I just took um, a box of chocolate cake mix and I just baked it in advance. Of course, you don't have to use box uh, cake mix. You can always make your own, but I don't, I don't have time for that. So, um, okay, so I baked this in advance and I let the cake cool. So what you want to do is you want to actually crumble your cake. So I'll just crumble this by hand. Of course, you can use a fork if you want, but I like to use my hands. It's just easier and you can feel the texture of your cake. And I'm using chocolate fudge cake here, but you can use any cake you want. You can use, I think devil's food cake works pretty well with this recipe. Or you can also use, um, I've seen people use brownies. So that's kind of neat too. I've also, and you don't even have to use chocolate cake mix. You can use um, like a white cake mix if you want it but this is called death by chocolate so we're going to stick to the chocolate cake mix now there's so many different variations on how to make this and if you if you guys have any alternatives let me know i'd like to hear it um, like i said i've seen the brownie one done and i've seen people use flavored cake mixes okay so we've crumbled this by hand and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drizzle this with some chocolate fudge. You don't have to, but I'm just going to do it just to keep the cake moist. And of course it will be moist already, but I just want it to be extra moist. So we'll just stir this together. All right, RJ, who do I have online right now? Ooh, if you guys are online, Give me a wave, comment, say hi, let me know you're watching. Jen is uh, there. Oh, Jen Mancher? Uh, Jen uh, Pangani Ben. Jane. Pangani oh, Jane. Ben. Oh, hi, Jane. Yeah, Jane is always online. Um, She's my number one fan. Hi, Jane. <laughs> okay. Who Marilia. else is online? Oh, Marilia. Hey, Marilia. Marilia, she's excited to start back. Marilia, I want to know, are you excited to start back on the blue? Or anyone, are you guys excited to start back? I know it's gonna be so great to see other people on the blue. It's been so long, right? Okay, so this is, I think, moist enough. It's crumbled. So we're just going to actually assemble it into a glass plate. You can use a trifle bowl if you want. I don't actually have a trifle bowl. So we'll just use this glass plate so we can see the layers. And it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's gonna see it, right? Just but you just want to see the layers in between on the glass. Okay, like that. I think that looks good. Well, I'm excited to see you guys on the blue. Tamika I mean, says hi. oh, hi, Tamika. I'm excited to see you, Tamika. It's been, so, you know, I haven't seen you on the walks lately. Where have you been? <laughs> okay, so I think that's good. Yeah, okay, that's a good layer. Okay, so the next layer you want to do is actually put your pudding mix in. So I made this in advance because I actually bought the wrong pudding mix. I, uh, I had to buy, I bought the one where you have to cook it over the stove top and it took forever. So I'm glad I made that in advance, but make sure you buy instant pudding mix so it doesn't take too long. Or you could always buy um, the snack packs, the ready-made snack packs. And actually in the refrigerated section, they have the no sugar added one. So just a tip. Okay. So we're going to scoop some of this chocolate pudding in here. And it's been cooled already. I used whole milk with this because whole milk is really tasty. My kids love it. And that's what I had on hand. So just spread that like so. There we go. Have you tried this dessert before, Jerome? I uh, know. It's so good. So, so good. You haven't? No, okay, well, you always come hungry at our house, yes, right? that's right. That's 
why I'm here for. Did you eat breakfast already? Uh, not yet. I just woke up. Did strong. Oh yeah, with you Jen. did strong with Jen. How was that? Uh, pretty good. How those are it? those are hard classes. Yes. I've done a couple of it, not on Zoom because I don't like to show my face, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. So the people that can keep up, bravo. Okay, so then I have some whipped cream here. Obviously, if you don't have uh, whipped cream, you can just buy Cool Whip, and that works really well. Also, so we're gonna do a layer like that. Just a thin layer. Okay. And I used a small dish, but you know what? You can always double this recipe if you have a large gathering. And you know what? Restrictions have ease, thank goodness, right? So we can actually see some friends in our yard. What's the limit now? Is it 10 or 25? Uh, 10, I think. 10. Is it 10? I'm not quite sure. I haven't been okay, well, basically, you can have people <laughs> over, over yeah. in your backyard. Which is great. Jane's asking about the white stuff. Oh, Jane, so this is um, whipped cream, but you can also um, use Cool Whip if you'd like. It's pronounced whip or whip. Okay, it's funny. RJ's asking me, is it pronounced whip or whip? It's actually, you actually say the H first. Did you know that? Yeah. Technically, you're supposed to say the, the whip first. You know, I, I don't know how someone told me this, but it's true. It is. And it's weird. Like, who says whip? <laughs> RJ. <laughs> okay, so then the last layer is uh, we're going to put some chopped up score. I love score. RJ loves score. So I just chopped up some candy bits. We're going to put a thin layer. Not, let's not go crazy. Controversy, right now. controversy? Karen wants to know isn't that fattening? This is fattening, Karen. You are absolutely right. But, what but, in moderation? Jack, but this is in moderation. Out. And you know what? Like I work out and I don't eat this. The last time I had this, honestly, was probably about, I would say over 10 years ago. So this is a treat for me. But you know what? I work out to eat. <laughs> this is the truth, right? I work out for health reasons and aesthetics and and all those other great things that come with it, like your energy, like your energy is boosted and your confidence. And you know, when one element goes up, the rest will follow. But also, but also I love to eat, so. I have, I'm like a bottomless pit. I actually eat more than a man. Okay, so this is the first layer. So we're just gonna repeat the layers again. And, uh, and that's it, it's so simple. And that's what I love about this dessert is that it's just, you can't, you can't mess it up. You really can't. Julie says that looks yummy. She says hi. Hi Julie, and yes, it is yummy. Now, if you guys, like I said, have made your own version, let me know. And what I like about this is that you can make this in advance, right? You don't have to make it the day of. It doesn't take forever. And if you make a mistake, no one will notice it, right? Okay, so that's our cake layer. Um, let's do our pudding layer again. Yes, this is fattening. So eat this in moderation. After a workout. After a workout. That's the best time to eat it. After a Fit Club workout. Oh, let me spread this. See, already it doesn't look too beautiful, but no one will notice it, right? So I'm just gonna spread this. Yeah, eat it after a workout. That's when your body is like a fat burning furnace, right? And then it'll offset it just a little bit. So make sure you guys work out first. But you know, if you don't work out, it's, it's not the end of the world. Don't beat yourself up. Just enjoy your dessert and get back on track tomorrow. Right? Right. Right, yes. So I, I actually didn't work out today, but I plan to work out later. I normally don't work out on Sundays, but I think I will today because I'm not going to hold back on this dessert. And this is why I actually don't make a lot of desserts because um, it's my weakness. It really is. Okay, so that's a pudding layer. Then we'll do some more whipped cream or whip, I mean. Whipped oh, cream. Yeah. There we go. We'll be done this in no time. Who else is online? I can't, I can't see. Oh, I know, right? But you want to make sure that this dessert, it chills for a bit. We got Cindy Harrison uh, and we got Barb. Oh, hi Barb, hi Cindy. Okay, so that looks good. And then, you know what, I have these, um, these syrups here. 
So you could drizzle it with chocolate or caramel. Do you want me to yeah. do? Okay, so we're gonna do caramel because RJ likes caramel. Okay, there. That looks good. And then once again, we're going to sprinkle it with some more score. And you know what, the score is important. It is optional, but it just makes it taste that much better. There we go. Okay, that looks perfect. Um, and so that is it. And all you have to do is just chill it in the fridge and you're ready to go. But also, I want to show you guys this. So if you wanted to get this as a gift, you also, you could, it'll be so cute in one of these mason jars. Like I said, you just assemble the trifle. Or if you want to be fantastic for your guests in your backyard, you could also put it in a wine cup. So we could do that as well. Do you want me to do it in a, let's do it in a wine cup. Okay, so uh, we'll just put some in here. I have these wine cups and you know, I don't drink wine, so I'm happy to use a wine cup and then you're supposed to put some more pudding but I ran out of pudding so we're gonna put some chocolate syrup and then we're gonna let's go fancy and use caramel how does that sound caramel mm. and then yes whipped cream you can't forget the whipped cream and then sprinkle a little bit more chocolate or score and then some more cake there we go. Let's put lots of cake. Okay. And then top it up with some more whipped cream. And then let's just do another drizzle. Let's do chocolate caramel. How long in the fridge, Mary? You could do this overnight. You could do this two hours. You could do it for six hours. Obviously, the longer that you chill this in the fridge, um, the better it tastes, right? But as long as you chill it for at least a minimum two hours, I would say. So here are some options, like I said. So you, this is a small portion that I made, but you can easily double or triple this recipe depending on how many people you're serving. If you want to be fancy, put in these wine cups, or if you want to give it as a gift, you can put it in these cute mason jars. Um, and with this extra cake mix, do not throw this away, okay? You can easily make these into, into cake balls. Just mix this with some like icing, yeah, buttercream. You want to roll it, set it, and then dip it in chocolate. So I think I'm going to do that after. Make, make one in the mason jar. I can't. I have no more, um, I have no more in the mason jar. Okay. Say the first person to comment, pick me. Yeah. I'm going to bring that to the gym tomorrow. Okay. okay, so anyone who's watching, the first person to comment, pick me, I will bring you this dessert in this wine cup for you to have. So just make sure you comment, pick me, and uh, I'll surprise you tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank Marilia. you so much for watching. Oh, is it Marilia? <laughs> Yay, Marilia. Okay, what time are you working out? Let me know, and I'll have this... Oh, mid-morning? Yeah. Okay. Marilla, I'm told that you're booked for the mid-morning, so you will get this treat tomorrow. Okay, RJ says he will work you extra, extra hard to make sure you enjoy your treat. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this treat. And like I said, if you guys have some um, al like alternates or how you make this, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.